<laughs> Michael DeBar is for uns zu Gast. We're on the air already. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. Would you please take your microphone? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hallo. Also, ich kann einmal kurz erklären, wer das ist. Ihr seht es ja, Michael DeBar, äh, Musiker und Schauspieler und bekannt aus Film und Fernsehen und schon seit 55 Jahren auf der Bühne. Und ich kann euch eins sagen, er kam hier rein und hat alle begrüßt, äh, die ihm über den Weg gelaufen sind. Und das passiert nicht immer bei den Gästen, die hier sind. Und das ist auf jeden Fall was ganz Tolles. Und you said, it's really important to be nice to the crew and to be friendly. Because well, it's essential. I mean, because the whole thing about art and, sh and uh, entertainment is collaborative. Mm -hmm. So you work with people. If, 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 this, if I'm rude to this gentleman on this camera, <laughs> he's going to like make it all blurry <laughs> and, and he's going to ruin my charm. But no, I, I believe that we uh, team effort. Everything is a team effort. Making a record is a team effort. Absolutely. I mean, doing this album was a collaborative effort. I had these incredible musicians, this incredible producer, and this incredible label. And all of us have created that. This, the yeah. key to the universe, and the key to the universe is, is love? Is that what it is, you would say it is? It is absolutely and utterly that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't always lead with that. I don't always say that first. Oh. I, always, I always have to somehow temper it and say, you are darling. Oh, thank you. know you. what I mean? And in in a way, that's true, isn't it? Yeah, but why can't you start with love? Big, well, I think if you're lucky, you start with love. <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe you'll start with dinner, I, you know, perhaps, and a, and a movie, and then you'll fall in. No, everything is about love. Of course, this album's about love and connection and compassion, yes. But speaking about dinner and love afterwards, you just told me um, the, the sentence that you know in German, and it would be so... Oh, can I say it? Yes, please do. Willst du wilde Sex mit mir haben? <laughs> And then? Splatternickt. <laughs> Splatternickt means splitternackt, but I think splatternickt is much, well, much better. I, I, I've been saying splatternickt for years. <laughs> hey, what a round of applause. <laughs> interrupting the conversation over here on the other couch. No, no, couch. they're listening to you. They're talking about you and saying how great you are, oh, actually. Good. Oh, um, I love you, Emily. You're <laughs> sharp as a tack. <laughs> um, split a tack. Splitter, splitter nackt. Um, you, I don't know where to start with you because you've done so many things. Um, you've played in front of billions of people at Live Aid. You um, were Murdoch on MacGyver. You have done um, lots of albums with different um, people. Yes. Do you feel at home anywhere in particular? Yes. I feel at home in front of a microphone mm -hmm. with a crowd. It doesn't have to be a big crowd. But I think that out of all of the things one does, that to me is the greatest thing, is playing live music, playing live rock and roll music. I mean, I'm sure you guys would agree, you know, rock and roll lives live. Making a record is, an, is a different entity. But this record we made to almost approximate that live feel. But out of all of the things, there's nothing that beats rock and roll for me. That's Even when I was an actor, I was a rock and roll actor. I mean, it would inform whatever I was doing. Mm. Isn't she gorgeous? Get a close up of her eyes, this girl's eyes. How close have you gone in on her eyes? Where are you? Camera one. <laughs> oh, oh my there goodness. you go. I'm, go I'm really flushed. close on her face. Go on his face. He's more Can't important. Can't you do that? No, no, they, they've done it probably too often. They know all my, everything on my face already. But you're so pretty. Look at those eyes. Yes, See, there's the key to the universe. <laughs> An honest, beautiful girl's eyes. I'm not honest, Which is though. the title of the next album. Oh, there's me. You better not get too close to me or get scared. No, no, no. I think you look wonderful, and that, I think you look so young, and I think that's probably because you've been doing stuff that you love your whole life. Wow, that's a great thing to say. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, that's so beautiful. That's exactly right. I mean, if you're enthusiastic, and you get up in the morning, and you, and you, um, you know, know what you want to do, and you have a purpose, and there's a mission and a reason, and, and you love that reason and that mission and that purpose, then of course you'll be young forever. I've, I'm 107 years old right now. Mm -hmm. So Lestat is my bitch, essentially. <laughs> absolutely. And I am going to live till 300. I am going to outlive everybody. I think that would be absolutely wonderful. Was there anybody ever in your life who said, you know what, Michael, you're not going to be able to do that? And did you say, and what did you say to them? I outlived them. You outlived them. Mm -hmm. Do you remember who that was? And yes, yeah. Iggy Pop. Really? No. 
Oh. But I'll tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> I will be standing in the apocalypse with a Les Paul in my hands. And uh, me and Iggy Pop will be standing in the rubble of the apocalypse. I mean, the point, I'm being very glib about this. But, but what you do, if you love it, you, it is the great rejuvenation of your life. Mm -hmm. Because you dig what you do. You have this great show. You will live forever in, in, in reruns. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, I will run forever in reruns. There'll be MacGyver reruns till the planet blows up. Well, it won't blow up because there's MacGyver. No. He'll fix it. it. Yeah. And I'll try and kill him while he does it. Exactly. Yeah. And that, fail <laughs> miserably. How is that when you're traveling around and you switch through the channels in, I don't know, in, in Japan or something and you see him? I call my reruns. agent and say, make sure you get the money in Finland. That's what I say. <laughs> I can imagine that. You know, I mean, every, every cent counts. Michael's just got $3 from Finland. You That's know. pretty cool, no, actually. It's, well, you know, it, it goes down. Uh, as the years go on. I mean, it used to be $30,000 now. <laughs> you know, it goes down. What's but listen, I'm just grateful that I've worked and that I've been engaged in show business and been allowed by the gods to let me do something that I love. You've met or you've talked and worked and you've met so many people in your life that, um, that people know. Um, is there any kind of um, inspiration or maybe words that you got from these people that you've been taking along the past years for your work and for your life? I, I read a lot as a child, a lot of literature, and I read the, the romantic poets gave me that sort of sense of romanticism. And, and Lord Byron's work I always found incredible because he was also very punk rock. Mm -hmm. You know, he really was the first rock star, billowing cloak. So I'm kind of Lord Byron with a Les Paul kind of. But who else That's influenced really me? Let's see. Who else? Um, musically, um, it was the blues guys that, that influenced me the most. And I, and I think uh, as an actor, Montgomery Clift, and I mean, their, their work, but in terms of inspiration, and I know what you're getting yeah. at. I have a friend, he's an actor, he's an Irish actor, his name is Gabriel Byrne. Mm -hmm. He's one of the wisest men I know. And um, you have to have people around you who's going to tell you the truth. The producer of this record, Bob Rose, tells me the truth. Therefore, the truth makes me a better artist. If he can tell me the truth and I can tell him the truth and convey that and get that on tape, as it were, you know, metaphorically, you're going to get a good record because mm -hmm. it's the truth. Now, whether everybody's going to like it, I could care less. I mean, if we like it, that's what's important, the process being the prize. But I, somehow in my life, I've always bumped into somebody who's had the right thing at the right time. You know, and I've learned from my own mistakes. I mean, the greatest knowledge I've learned is from, you know, being addicted to drugs, for instance, and, and, and kicking that habit was actually educational more than mm. anything. It's a very spiritual thing to go through something like that and still be able to uh, put your trousers on or take them off. That's also important, absolutely. I, I, I think, I, I hope I get this right. Um, each song on here is written, you write them in, in a kind of a, a character. Is that, it? do I understand that right? And, and that, Yesterday's Casanova is not really you speaking, it's a, a character speaking? Um, there's an element of creating a person through which to write a song. Mm -hmm. And I've done that here and there. But essentially, this album is a, really exposing myself. <laughs> Splatternicht. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, in, in, a, in an emotional sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a, there's, the, the thing rocks like crazy, but, it, but there's a vulnerability there that I've never displayed because I felt safe enough to do it in this environment. Um, but you might feel safe while you're writing it. When you're standing on stage, you sometimes think, oh, shit, I shouldn't have gone to that, that far because everybody knows what I'm thinking right now, or does that not worry I you? I want everybody to know what I'm thinking yeah. all, all the time. I, I, the, the whole thing that I've realized in, in this career of mine is, is that we share the same secrets. You know, I am not here to hide anything. I'm here to lay everything out. I mean, God knows I have to. My wife wrote these books, your know, ex-wife. So, I mean, one's life is public. You know, I can't, I, I must adhere to the truth at all times. Um, that's what gets me up in the morning, is knowing that I haven't told a lie that I have to remember. And that's the opposite of, that's the lock on the key of the universe. You know, that's what locks you out of being uh, a human being who cares and gives up about others, which is what I'm all about. It's about compassion, it's about love, connectivity. And about loving what you do and loving your music, and we're going to hear rockin'. and rockin'. And rockin'. Exactly, yeah. we're going to rock here in yes, the studio in a couple of minutes. Stay we are and, uh, I can't get you off of my mind from diesem Album und the Key to the Universe gleich hier und live. Und dann Michael De Bars und wir machen jetzt weiter mit dem Klickblick und dann geht's weiter Musik. Also eine volle Sendung heute bei NRW Live.